Another party has come to West Bay. Some might call it a bold move, but the progressives say it's time they have a presence in West Bay. We have a small window of opportunity. And it's up to you. It's up to me. It's up to all of us. Please vote progressive. Red shirts, progressive banners, and a new office. Nearly 200 people turned out to the PPM's district campaign launch Wednesday night at the Lamar Village Shopping Plaza. So we're going to be here for you every day, every day once we get elected. The party was hoping to have four candidates on the slate in this district, but has settled on these three. Woody DaCosta, Captain Brian E. Banks, and Ray Farrington. We've never had before of making a real difference of finally breaking in to what I call Fortress McKeever. For years, the United Democratic Party has won the available four seats in this district. But given the political events over the last four-year term, the progressives say they won't make the mistake of not putting up a fight again in this district. West Bay must not go without representation in the government this time round, as happened in 2005. For some who live here, the physical presence of another party is welcome. I'm not against UDP, but we need opportunities for West Bears to have a broad spread out of who they want and how things should be done. One thing is for sure, the race to the polls is picking up speed and the voters in West Bay are noticing the signs of change in their district. Tammy Suleiman, Cayman 27.